one. Once again. Hi there, in this video I will show you how to build this racing drone and I will also show you how to program this drone by using your smartphone. This time I am using Evo 220 carbon fiber frame. You just need to assemble it. I am also using T-Motor Velox Velco V2 2207.5 1750kV brushless motor. I have no doubt about its performance and efficiency. It looks really really marvelous. I am using some hitching tube for protecting the motor wires. This is T-Motor Velox V2 45A 4-in-1 ESC that's I am going to use for this drone. It comes with a XC60 power cord, a 10 pin cable and a electrolytic capacitor. After installing the ESC, I cut the extra length of the wires for a suitable shape. Now it's time for soldering. I always suggest you to go for a better soldering. I have cut the extra length of the X60 cord and engaged with the ESC power input. This is hitching tube for protecting the capacitor spin from short circuit. After shrinking, I soldered this to the ESC. Here is the Brain FEV Redix 2 flight controller. It's actually a H7 processor based flight controller. It comes with a guide note, some stickers and most importantly anti vibration rubbers and connectors. Now it's time to connect the wires between ESC and flight controller. Connection depends on your ESC and flight controller, what you choose to use. I have followed this diagram because it's suitable for my setup. This is the FRSky Tranis X90 Plus SE transmitter. And I am also gonna use TBS Crossfire Micro TX as a control link. And this is Crossfire Nano receiver. Also here, I am using a hitching tube for better protection and I connect the wires to the flight controller by following this diagram. Always try to make your build cleaner. This is Foxier Razer Nano FPV camera. This is EHN TX805 VTX that I am gonna use to transmit the video from drone. To receive and watch the live video footage from my drone, I am using SkyZone 02X FPV goggles. I placed the VTX at the top of the flight controller. and connect the wires by following this diagram. 
and this diagram to follow for the camera. Now here I am using some zip ties and hitching tube to mount the receiver antenna. You can see how it looks like. I managed to place the camera by using a zip ties. It looks really great and almost finished. These are the propellers. I have chose to use Jamefan 514995 inch propeller. For an extreme power supply, I am using CNHL Minister 6L 120C LiPo batteries. And you can see how I install battery at the bottom of the aircraft using this carbon fiber plate and battery strap. After finishing all of the hardware setup, now we have to jump into the software. We must have a OTG and USB cable. We have to just connect USB cable with the flight controller and the phone. First of all, we have to download two apps called SpeedDB and BLL32. I already downloaded. Let's open the SpeedDB app. You can see the flight controller and receiver got powered by the phone. Then just connect. And you can see it's totally working. Make sure your transmitter is on and got connected with your receiver. And you have to leave your drone on a plane surface and hit this button to calibrate your accelerometer. Then you just go for the settings menu and below of it you will found this receiver mode option. You just have to select the right one that you are using. For me, it's serial based receiver. Therefore, you have to select the right serial provider. For me, it's CRSF. Then just hit the save and reboot button. For a check, hit this transmitter icon and just move your transmitter stick and you can see it's working. Therefore, you have to select the modes. First one is selecting arm switch. Hit this add range button and select a transmitter switch that you want to arm. After clicking, you can see a yellow dot here. Now you have to adjust this just top of the yellow dot. I have chosen the angle mode and also horizon mode by the same process with a 3 position switch. If there is no flight mode selected then it goes automatically in acro mode. At this point you just have to plug in your battery. And make sure no propellers are installed. Then again go to the settings menu and select the right full ESC protocol. I am selecting D shot 600 at this time. Therefore hit the save and reboot button. After all of this, just check the motor direction. At this moment, I found two of my motors is in wrong direction. Let's change the direction of these two. If your motor direction is wrong, then follow me. Open the BLD32 app and hit the connect button. And also the read button. Below you can found motor direction option. In my case, I have to change the direction of ESC2 and ESC3. Then just change it from normal to reverse. And hit right button. That's it. And just go for another check in the SpeedDB app.
Now all the motors are in right direction. There are too many options, but we have done the minimum settings for flying. Let's have a first fly. This drone is flying well, so let's go for an outdoor fly. Home all through the night. I need your love, I need your love. 